So first of all, ano ba talaga yung niche or niche? Niche. Hindi siya anak ng kapatid mo na babae kasi niche. Hindi rin siya tuhod kasi niche. Well, based ni Google, ang definition ng niche daw is a comfortable or suitable position in life or employment. That's the definition number one. Definition number two is a specialized segment of the market for a particular kind of product or service. But in layman's term, ano ba talaga yung niche? Anong niche? Yung niche or niche. Sa lahat ng mga hindi pa nakakaalam or mga newbies, kumbaga, let me just put it to the words at layman's term na lang. Ay niche po or ang niche or niche ay isang topic. So that's the definition of niche. Niche, niche, niche. Okay, so why is niche or niche important? Number one, yan yung sinasabi ng mga senior sa YouTube, yung mga nasa YouTube na for the longest time, mga 50 years. Think media, sina yung kalbo, yung babae, tapos yung mga kung sino-sino pa man yan. Find a niche kasi mas madali daw i-promote ni YouTube. Yung algorithm is magpapabor sa mga channel na merong specific na niche. Based on my research, Chaka. that they would promote more or yung algorithm is magpapabor talaga if you have a specific niche. Also, another benefit of having a niche siguro is to avoid confusion sa mga audience mo kasi alam mo naman, mahirap kumuha ng audience kayon or the market itself is just playing hard to get. Ewan ko bakit. Pero anyway, imagine this if you are doing contents na halo-halo. For one video, may makuha ka na audience. For another video, ibang klaseng audience na naman. If you gather everything up, your audience will be confused kung ano talaga yung i-look forward sa channel mo. So better, choose one niche that is friendly to your specific audience, sa targeted audience mo, sa target market mo, para mas madali yung buhay mo. At buhay nila. Kasi para hindi sila mag- confused or they won't be confused tama ba tama, ba? tama. How do you choose a niche? Based on my experience Balik muna tayo sa definition na Yung sabi ko kanina It na, is a comfortable or suitable position In life or employment Meaning kung saan ka comfortable Kung saan ka magaling Not necessarily siguro But if you are comfortable of what you are doing Sagad na Yan yung piliin mo na niche Like ako way back when I started YouTube I started with um, cooking videos Kasi by profession Kusunera ko I am a chef But then again I stopped doing cooking videos videos kasi I'm professionally working in a kitchen so ayoko na pag uwi ko nasa kusina pa rin ako so you get my point kasi ako I was not comfortable with this photo and video niche or even the YouTube niche hindi talaga comfortable pero as time goes by naging comfortable na ako I may not be as good as the rest pero that doesn't mean na hindi mo na pwedeng in-niche yung isang bagay na yun as long as you are comfortable I'm not saying as long as you are good But comfortable ka or suitable sa position mo ngayon you should go for that niche or niche. Also, one thing to consider is choose your market. Kung anong mga market mo, A, B ba, C, D, or whatever. Kung mga specific market talaga yung tinatarget mo, research about them kung ano yung mga gusto nila. And as long as you are comfortable doing that type of videos, there you go. That is your answer. That's how you choose your niche. Kasi parang win-win situation. You get the market or the audience plus you are having fun to yourself and it would be more comfortable or easier for you na gumawa ng mga ganong klaseng videos. Junil, palipat-lipat na ko ng angle ha. Para sa'yo to. Okay, so ngayon, chill lang tayo. Pa vlog mode, vlog mode lang ako. The downside though of having a niche or niche is you will be stuck in that circle. Kasi once may topic ka na, tapos may audience ka na, tapos pinopromote na ni YouTube yung, yung channel mo. You will get eventually bored. You will get eventually, you will eventually pala. You will eventually get bored. You will eventually get burned and out. And you will be sometimes, well, most of the times for me, just do contents as a somewhat forced contents. Yung napipilitan ka lang. Kasi yun nga, you are just trying to deliver what your audience wants, not what you want. Yun yung tandaan nyo, if you are going to pursue on a niche specific type of channel, just be ready long term na hindi ka mabuburn out, na hindi ka mabuboard, and you will have tons of ideas na hindi ka talaga mauubusan. Ang hirap talaga i-sustain yung isang channel na iisa lang talaga yung niche. Okay, so based naman sa personal experience ko, I have a niche or niche, pero I, I could define them 
I'm probably dalawa. Number one is more on the photo and video. Well, dalawa na yun. Pero let's just put it to that one case. The so, second niche that I have is usually related to YouTube tutorial man yan, mga tips man yan, at kung ano-ano pa. The first niche that I do love, which is the photo and video, is marami ka kasi magagawa within that type of niche. Per se, kung gusto mo mag- Street photography, that is still under photo. If gusto mo mag cinematic, under video. Kung gusto mo mag per se gear reviews, as long as it is related to photo and video, you can still do that. For the YouTube naman, it's medyo limited talaga because, yun nga, anything related to YouTube, usually mga how-to, how-to lang yan, mga tutorials and tips on how to get subscribers, how to get watch time, how to get views, and whatnot. So I'm not really digging the YouTube Feel oh. my niche. But the downside of the photo and video though is For me lang, I think underrated siya here in the Philippines and it was it was going very very well last year nung kakasimula ko lang and all kaka discover ko. Pero right now nakikita ko na this is don't take this the wrong way pero medyo nagsasawa na yung mga tao within the community or within the industry of photos and videos especially cinematics especially for videography or filmmaking medyo marami kami na kasi talaga yung gumagawa ng ganito that's based on my solely on my own opinion ha? so wag nyong mama sa mga ina that's my personal experience kumbaga when, when I'm dealing with itong dalawang niche na to which is photo and video and YouTube tutorials tips and tricks and how to get subscribers and triple bells and yun yun na yun so time for the final part of this video magbibigay lang ako ng advice char pa kung you know, ma baka makatulong. Now, if you are planning to do YouTube for income, for money, for everything, let's just face it, may mga ganyan talaga na gusto magkapera because of YouTube and what not. But My anyway. advice is choose a specific niche which is yun, mag-research ka sa mga fast-growing niche dito sa YouTube and focus on that long term. Now, if you are like me, well, of course, money is important, pero if you're like me na gusto lang hobby, gusto lang mag-document, document and everything, as you can see sa channel ko, halo-halo na to, chap so na to, you can do whatever you want which is my favorite part kasi parang nawawala yung pagka content creator yung creator natin if you go to that specific path talaga na niche focused ka parang, wala na walang thrill and everything and you will get bored you will get eventually burned out kasi napipilitan ka na those na. are my final advices and if may natutunan ka today never forget to subscribe and again, again meron ongoing giveaway the links will be down in the description box and in the comments siguro ilalagay God ko God bless stay safe Pa peace. Patulo na yung lao kanina eh.